Okay, so let us proceed to uh, conjugate beam method. So for this uh, method, it is somehow similar to the previous method, yung uh, area moment uh, method. But before we proceed to an example, so let's have some a little introduction. So for example, this is the real beam. What is the equivalent of a real beam to a, a conjugate beam? So when it comes to support, so a hinge on the real beam is the same as the hinge on the conjugate beam. A roller support is the same as the a roll support in the conjugate beam. So, dito, if we have a fixed support on the real beam, that is a free end on, on the conjugate beam. And if we have a free end on the real beam, that is a fixed support on the conjugate beam. And then when it comes to the slope, how to compute for the slope of a real beam on a given point? All you have to do is compute for the shear, fo shear force of the conjugate beam on that point. So, take note, huh? slope is equivalent to shear force. So, slope on the real beam is a shear force on the conjugate beam. Then, how to compute for deflection? The deflection is equal to the moment on the conjugate beam. So, these are some of the uh, equivalents. So, let's have an example. Okay, so we have, for example, we have this beam loaded with 12 kilonewtons and we have the support uh, reactions. So, sabi ko manina, it is similar to the area moment method. So, choose a fixed point, then do the moments. So, this is 8 times 3. Again, we have that uh, value as we have. This is uh, 24 kilonewton meter. And this is 12 times 2. Again, this is the negative 24. Okay? So, this area moment... Okay, will be the load of our conjugate uh, beam. We convert we convert this one into a conjugate beam. So the equivalent conjugate beam. Okay, so this is our equivalent conjugate beam. So from the initial beam, all you have to do is I construct the equivalent area moment. Then I for the conjugate beam, it is loaded by the moment over uh, EI. So required for this beam is determine the rotation at A, the rotation at B, and the maximum deflection. So how to compute for rotations? So sabi natin, uh, shear force is simply equal to uh, the rotation. So by the way, uh, we have for the positive uh, moments or area moments, that is, uh, we assume that the direction of that loading to be upward for the negative area of, of the moment diagram, we, shall, we assume that to be downward. Okay? So I will be assuming that the reactions for A will be down, downward. Kasi medyo malaki yung value nito and it is upward. So let's say this is the reaction at A, let's say RA or the shear at A. Oh, wait a minute. So we have the reaction at A to be downward and this is the reaction at B to be uh, downward. So take note, sabi natin a while ago that we have uh, the shear force is uh, basically equal to uh, rotation. So therefore, the reaction at A and the reaction at B corresponds to the actual beam, okay, the slope at A and the slope at B uh, respectively. So we may do uh, this time, 
summation moment about A equal to 0, clockwise moments to be uh, positive. For example, I'll be computing for the reaction at B. So, this is summation moment about A clockwise moment to be equal to 0. So, this is clockwise. We have 24 times, okay, 2 meters. And this is divided by 2. What is the lever arm? That is 1 meter plus okay, the 2 over 3 of 2 meters. Okay, plus the reaction of B. This is multiplied by how far we have 3 meters. Then minus this uh, value that is 24 times 3 meters. This is uh, divided by 2. Okay, how far the centroid? That is, uh, yung centroid niya is uh, 2 over 3 up, uh, 3 meters. And this now equal to 0. So let us uh, compute for the reaction of B. Uh, take note, this is a shear force on the beam, on the conjugate beam. What is the equivalent of this shear force to the actual beam? That is the same as the rotation at B. And this is equal to? Okay, so everything is over EI. Okay, tinandal ko lang, hindi ko lang nilagay dyan para hindi siya masyadong uh, nakakagulo. So you have 24 times 2 over 2. Then multiplied by uh, 1 plus uh, 2 over 3 of 2. And then plus uh, the reaction at B times 3, then minus uh, 24 times 3 over 2, and then 2 thirds of uh, 3. Okay, so computing for the support reaction at B, that will be equal to. Okay, this is the same as we have 16 over. Uh, 3. So, sabi ko, everything should be divided by EI. So, tinanggal ko lang dito. Assume them as forces. So, we have uh, 16 over 3 EI. And this is the same as kilonewton meter squared. So, this is the rotation at B. Okay? So, how to compute for the rotation at A? We can have it by summation of forces vertically equal to 0 upward forces to be uh, positive. So, upward, ano yung upward natin? That is the magnitude of this uh, positive area moment a while ago, pero i-assume yeah, natin siya na low. That is, uh, 24 times 3, this is divided by 2, and I think everything is downward. Minus, what is RB? That is, we have 16 over 3. Minus the reaction of A, minus we have 24 times 2 divided by 2 equal to 0. So let's compute for that value. So we're we'll having the reaction of A. So again, the equivalent of this shear force on the conjugate beam to the real beam is the rotation at A is equal to 20 over 3 EI. So everything is over EI. So again, this is in terms of the kilonewton meter, uh, kilonewton meter squared. So this is the rotation at A. Okay, using the conjugate beam method. So now, how do, we, uh, how do we locate the maximum deflection? So at maximum deflection, the shear force uh, let's say shear force uh, B should be equal to 0. Okay. So let us first uh, locate the uh, the point where in shear force is equal to 0. Kung naalala niyo sa uh, previous subject ninyo from the string of materials, at shear is equal to 0, that is the maximum moment. So take note, when it comes to uh, the real beam, a real beam and versus the conjugate beam. Okay, so we have on the real beam, the maximum deflection corresponds to the maximum moment on the conjugate beam. So, saan matatagpuan yung maximum moment that is on the point where in shear is equal to zero. 
So let us locate saan kayo matatagpuan yung maximum uh, moment on this beam wherein that's the same as the shear is equal to uh, zero. So we may cut this beam at a distance okay, at a distance x. Okay, at a distance x from okay, from A. So I'm assuming that this is uh, the distance x. So this is the value of this point. All right. So we have this. Right, so we don't know the value of that point. Let's say this is a y sub a one. So by ratio and proportion of similar triangles. That is y sub 1 is 2x is equal to, uh, we have 24 is to 5, 3 meters. So we have the equivalent of y sub 1 will be equal to uh, 8 sub 8x. Okay, so if this is a 1 meter, so at a distance x, okay, if this is 1 meter, obviously this is x minus, okay, x minus 1. So let's say the magnitude of the moment of this point will be y sub uh, 2. So again, the ratio and proportion of similar uh, triangles. So we have a uh, y sub 2. Uh, y sub 2 is to uh, x minus 1 is equal to. We have 24 is to uh, 24 is to 2 meters. So we have an equivalent of y sub 2 is equal to 12 by 5 by x minus. One. So that will be the equivalent of y sub 1 and y sub 2. So at this point, wherein we assume that the shear is equal to 0 and the location of the maximum moment of the conjugate beam. So we cut and expose. Alright, so we got an expose. We have the reaction at A is we have 20 over uh, 3. Alright, so this is a distance x and this is 1 meter. So at this point, it is assumed that the shear should be equal to uh, 0. All we have to do is summation of forces vertical. Okay, so we do the summation of forces vertical equal to zero, upward forces to be uh, positive. So what are the upward forces? That is, okay, ito yung 8x. That is, a uh, one half, the base is x, the height is 8x. Okay, then minus, downward, the reaction of A, that is 20 over uh, 3. So again, this is the RA, okay, 20 over 3, minus, okay, the triangle, on uh, below the beam that is one half what is the base x minus one what is the height this is 12 times x minus one all right and then the shear should be equal to zero so this is the same as we have four x squared minus 20 over three then minus by 12 over 2, we have this is 6 divided by x minus 1 squared equal to uh, 0. So we have this equation as 4x squared minus 6 multiplied by x minus 1 squared is equal to 20 over 3. So let's compute for the volume x.
is equal to 1.367 meters. So this is, at this point, the shear on the conjugate beam is equal to zero. At the same time, that point is the location of the maximum moment. So let us uh, just uh, determine these values. Okay. So from this section, we have the value of x to be 1.367. So let us determine the value or equivalent of 8 times x. So that is the same as 8 times 1.367. So we have, uh, this is the same as 10.936. Well, for this one, uh, we have that is 12 times 1.367 minus 1. We have the S equal to uh, 4.404. Okay, so all are uh, expressed or over uh, EI. So all we have to do is determine that value of moment. Uh, that value of moment in the conjugate beam is equal to the value of the deflection in the real, uh, on that uh, real beam. So let us determine the moment. So for the home bag, uh, summation moment about uh, point A. So this is uh, summation moment about A equal to zero clockwise moments to be positive. So what are the clockwise moments about this point? Ito yun, the 4.404. So magnitude, that is one half the base. We have 0 0.367. Ano yung kanyang height? That is equal to 4.4. Zero 04. Uh, what is the distance of its uh, centroid or point of action towards point A? Well, it's 1 meter plus 2 thirds of 0.367. So this is multiplied by 1 meter plus 2 over 3 of 0 0.367. Okay, and then minus, this is assumed to be counterclockwise, minus the moment. Okay, minus. We have one half. Okay, minus one half. What is the base? There is 1.367. Ano yung kanyang height? Okay, we have the height of 10.936. What is the distance of its point of action okay, towards point A? That is two thirds of 1.367. So it's equal to October 3 of 1.367 okay, every equal to 0 so let's compute for the magnitude of that moment Okay, so we have a value of 
Ang loob mo ba sa mali is negative 5.806. So since it says uh, 5.806, then it will be the same as kilonewton meter cube. It should be kilonewton meter cube. Uh, this is already kilonewton meter. Kilonewton meter times meter, kilonewton meter squared times meter, kilonewton meter cube. So all over, all over E I. So this will be the same as, okay? So take note, the moment on the conjugate beam is the same as the deflection, or the deflection on the real beam. So negative 5.806 kilonewton meter cube, okay, all over E I. Okay, that will be the value of the maximum deflection. Okay, so, next example for uh, the conjugate beam method. So, first of all, we have this cantilever beam. I loaded as shown. So required, uh, let us assume first that we have EI as a constant value Required the maximum deflection and the rotation on the free end That is at 0.8 So again, almost the same procedure as the moment area method uh, First we are to construct our moment diagram So we are to choose a fixed point wherein we are to do summation of moments Or draw uh, to the, the basis point to draw our uh, moment diagram so this is the same as if we have first degree, so your shear diagram will be as second degree. The moment diagram should be third degree. And we have that value. Alright, so this as Pandra, we have third degree. That is uh, 15 times 6 right, times uh, 15 times 6 over 2 times, right, times 1 third of 6. Is equal to negative. And we have negative 90. So this will be the equivalent load, okay, the equivalent load for our conjugate beam. So gawa natin siya ng uh, equivalent conjugate beam. Okay, so what is equivalent conjugate beam for a cantilever beam? So if we have a free end on the conjugate beam, it will be a fixed uh, support. And then opposite, if we have a fixed support on the conjugate beam, it will be a free end. So this will be our uh, conjugate uh, beam. So how to determine the maximum deflection? So again, if you are to compare a okay, rail beam and a uh, conjugate beam, Okay, so let's say if we have the deflection y that is the same as the moment on the conjugate b. So we have this as a point A and a point B. So therefore, here in the conjugate beam, that is uh, basically kung iyan natin dito yung equivalent deflected form of the beam. Alright, so deflection at A is the same as the maximum deflection for a cantilever beam. So the maximum deflection on the rail beam is the same as the moment at point A on the conjugate uh, beam. So all we have to do is uh, determine the moment about uh, A. So this is uh, the moment at A. As you can see, this is a uh, counterclockwise moment. So supposedly that is a uh, negative. So we have uh, the area plus 100. Again, the area is equal to 1 over the degree plus 1 a uh, base times height. So this is a third degree curve, so 3 degree. So we have the equivalent moment at A should be negative for a reason it is counter uh, clockwise. That is, uh, the area of this uh, low, that is 1 over the degree 3 plus 1 multiplied by 6 times 90. So what is the lever arm? Okay, uh, this distance so let's, let's say this distance is bar x, this is 6 minus bar x. 
So how to compute for the equivalent of bar x? We have bar x is equal to 1 over the degree of the curve plus, okay, plus 2 times the base. So we have this is 1 over uh, degree 3 plus 2 multiplied by uh, 6. So we have the value of bar x is the same as uh, 1.2 meters. That is the same as 6 over, by 6 over 5. So if you are to do the moment, the equivalent uh, uh, resultant weight of this one will be acting at 6 minus a uh, bar x. So this is multiplied by 6 minus computed bar x is a uh, 1.2 meters. So with, what will be the value of the moment about point A? So this will be all though, I negative 648, this is kilonewton meter cube. So take note, this is kilonewton meter times meter times meter. So kilonewton meter cube, okay, so everything is divided by EI. So divided by EI. So again, if this is the moment in on this uh, conjugate beam, okay, the moment about point A is the same as the maximum deflection on the real B. It's equal to negative 648 kilonewton meter cube. Okay, this is divided by EI. So this is our solution for the computation of the maximum deflection. So now, how do we compute for the uh, rotation? By computing for the rotation, Or the slope at A. So again, we are going to uh, compare. So real beam versus conjugate beam. So we have the rotation and the real beam is the same as uh, the shear force. A uh, shear force on the conjugate uh, beam. So, if you are looking for the rotation at A, that is the same as the reaction at A. So, we need to compute for this a value. This is R sub uh, A. So, I will assume that it is upward since our loading okay, in, in this, on this conjugate beam is uh, downward. So, this is by summation of forces, vertically equal to zero. So, upward forces to be positive. So we have that is RA okay, minus the equivalent resultant weight of the slope will be the area of that spandrel. So computing for the area of the spandrel, that is 1 over degree 3 plus 1. The base is 6 multiplied by 90 equal to 0. So we have the reaction at A is equal to that is 6 times 90 over uh, 4. So we have having a value of 135 kilonewton, this is kilonewton meter times meter, kilonewton meter squared. So think note that the 90 is divided by EI. So again, if this is the reaction on our conjugate beam, the reaction on the conjugate beam is the same as the rotation on the actual beam. Equal to 135 kilonewton meter. Million meter square divided by EI. Okay, so this is our solution for the computation of rotation. And this is our example for the conjugate beam method.